Hello there and welcome back to another video here on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. And in this video, we're going to go over how you can use Trivi, the Trivi CLI, to scan your Kubernetes cluster for NSA compliance. If you completely need to compliance scans, a coworker of mine at the time, Rory McCune, and I gave a talk at the last KubeCon, KubeCon EU 2022, about compliance scans. Now, we went over different tools that can be used, different types of compliance scans, such as NSA and also CIS compliance scans. And now you can use the Trivi CLI directly to scan your Kubernetes cluster, not only for security issues, but also for compliance scans. NSA stands for the National Security Agency, and they are releasing a Kubernetes hardening guide on a regular basis. Well, they released one and then they updated it a while later. And the Kubernetes hardening guide is basically describing a set of steps that you can take to make the resources within your cluster and your Kubernetes cluster itself more secure. A lot of the default configuration in Kubernetes are not actually recommended. And the Kubernetes hardening guide is describing lots of these different configurations, changes that you can make to your configurations to make your cluster and the resources running within more secure. Now, generally, when you get started with optimizing your resources, you would Google something along the lines of Kubernetes security best practices. And you would find things like in your container images, don't use the latest tag. Then you don't use the default roles for your Kubernetes cluster and similar. And these are all great steps that we can take. However, how do we know which kind of steps we are missing and whether or not we are applying steps that are recommended in the Kubernetes hardening guide correctly? Now, this is exactly for what we use NSA scans. Now, if you want to try out the Trivi NSA scans, you obviously have to make sure first that you have Trivi installed. There are multiple different installation options depending on your operating system and preferences. Then we can head over to the CLI documentation. And within the CLI documentation, we can find the Kubernetes scanning documentation. Now, you can already scan your Kubernetes cluster since a while for security issues. You can create a summary report as a form of a table, or you can get a general like detailed list of all of the different vulnerabilities across, <laughs> across your cluster, cluster-wide, or within specific namespaces. Then we can head over from the Kubernetes documentation to our compliance documentation, Kubernetes compliance scans. Now, here you will first see a general list of the different scans, the different checks that the scan will perform. And then at the bottom, you will find the CLI command. And it's highly similar to how you would scan your entire Kubernetes cluster or specific resource within a Kubernetes cluster for security issue. Just in this case, you specify dash dash compliance equals NSA. And this is so we can then integrate in the future with different compliance scans. Now, again, you can either have as a report, a summary report with just a table, or you can get access to all of the different uh, details of each scan. So we're gonna go to our terminal and I'm connected, kubectl guide notes, <laughs> to my digital ocean Kubernetes cluster. It's just a normal three node cluster. Let's make sure I can access it. And then we can scan it for our NSA compliance. So Trivi Kate's cluster compliance equals NSA report summary. And we're gonna perform the scan. Now this might take a while, depending on the size of your cluster. It shouldn't take too long though. Okay, so once the scan has finished, you will see a table with the outcome and the percentage to which your the resources within your cluster are compliant with that scan. And also the severity of that scan. Now we can also get the details by saying report all and then it will list out all of the details for the different uh, compliance scans. So once the scan has finished, you can see a detailed report of all of the different resources and whether or not they passed the scan or if they failed. Like always, I hope this video was useful. It would mean a lot to myself as well as to maintainers and the contributors of Trivi if you could give Trivi a star on GitHub. Also, do join our Slack channel if you have any questions or if you just want to stay up to date with the recent developments. It would mean a lot to me if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. I hope to see you in one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.